introduction. Hello, everyone. I'm Wang Qingjing from Nanyu Tech University. It's my great honor to give the presentation at the webinar session on the science, engineering, and the technology. Today, my talk is about the membranes with subnet size channels for the molecular separations, fundamental insights, and engineering application. Generally, chemical separations account for about half of industrial energy consumption. It's very important to develop an efficient and energy saving separation process. Compared with the conventional separation technologies, membrane technologies consumes less energy. Nowadays, membrane technology has become one of the important supporting technologies for, sustainable, for the sustainable development of the human society. As you know, membrane tech separation is mainly based on the transport channels in the membrane. So the channel size is critical for the membrane. Nowadays, microfiltration and ultrafiltration process have been widely used in the water treatment, food, and the medical industry, allergy, and the environment. However, it's remained great challenge to develop high performance membranes with channel size generally less than one nanometer, which actually have important applications such as gas separation, work desalination, and servant purification. Currently, for most of the traditional membranes for the molecular separation, there is a trade-off effect between the permeability and the selectivity due to the disorder transport channels in the polymer. To address this issue, it is promising to design and fabricate the nanosketch composite membranes with sub sized transport channels. Herein, three aspects should be considered, including the sub sized transport channel the defect-free separation layer and the interfacial bonding property. Today, I will introduce two kinds of membranes with subnet size channel dependent in our group. For gas and water transport, we developed graphene-based membranes. For servant transport, we designed organic inorganic composite membrane. First part is graph graphene-based membranes with gas or water transport channels. They can be used in application of gas separation, servant purification, and water desalination. As you know, graphene is one of kind of 2D materials. It consists of a single layer of carbon atoms arranged in regular hexagonal pattern. Until now, very 2D materials such as graphene, and the berm nitrite has been widely investigated due to their unique properties. Their own atomic cyclists and the sub or micrometer net size and the show greater potential in condensed metaphysics and the material science. One question is, can they be used as memory materials? In 2016, we published a perspective review on 2D material memories in Anguashimi, we conceded that 2D materials have emerged as nano building blocks to develop high performance memory that feature unique nanopores and nano channels. These 2D material memories exhibit extraordinary permission properties, opening a new route to ultra fast and high selectivity memories for water and gas separation. Sorry. Our works on graphic based memory include four aspects creating interlayer channels, turning interlayer channels, controlling sur surface properties, and stabilizing memory in water. Due to the time limitation of my talk, I will show you only two examples. <coughs> Sorry. Although graphic based memory, has shown excellent molecular saving ability in gas separation. There are still two grand challenges to be achieved for the water, water treatment, the high efficiency desalination and the high water stability. As two graphene-based membranes for water desalination, the challenge is how to turn the internet spacing of dual membranes with as strong precision to re realize ion saving.
this is a radius of effective and hydrate ions. As, as we can see, the size difference of the hydrate cations is less than one angstrom, which demands for the price lengthening of the internet channels of geo memories. Thus, we propose a strategy of cationic control the internet spacing. We priceily control two interlayer spacing using potassium, sodium, calcium, lithium, magnesium ions. We combine the experimental observation and the theoretic calculation to show that cations themselves can determine and fix the interlayer spacing of two membranes at a size as small as nanometer. And the variable range of this spacing can be controlled to within one angstrom. Freestanding dual membranes first prepared from a graphene oxide suspension via the drop testing method. The variation of internet spaces of the dual membranes emerged in different salt solution was characterized by the XRD. By comparison, we found that the interlayer spacing space of the dual membranes can be effectively controlled by potassium chloride. The interlayer spacing of, of 11.4 angstrom in potassium chloride solution is even smaller than the interlayer spacing of dual membranes in pure water, 12.8 angstrom. To further demonstrate the controlling effect of cations, we fabricated dual membranes supported by ceramic substrates and used for the ion permission tests. Geolays were uniform debated on the alumina support. SEM images showed that the resulting thin layer membranes were continuous and free of micro pores of defects. We observed potassium chloride treated dual membranes showed the low sodium, magnesium, and the calcium ion permission rate below the cation detection limits. This demonstrates the ion-saving effect of the potassium chloride controlled dual sheets, showing ion ejection of more than 99% related to, to untreated dual membranes. We also find a dual membrane exempted the effectively rejected the sodium ion with the permission rate 150 times lower than the untreated dual membrane. Water stability is another grand challenge for the graph-based membranes and has become the bottleneck that seriously impacts the use of dual membranes in water-based environment. In particular, unfavorable swelling, redisperse, and the pinning of the dual membrane in water has been reported often. And this unstable characteristics greatly damage the membrane performance. The stability of dual membrane depends on dual geo interdam layer and the geo substrate interfacial interaction. How to over overcome this obstacle is a challenging issue. Here we introduce molecular bridges to stabilize the dual membrane. In the lamp layer and uh, interfacial interactions of the dual membranes were respectively reinforced by two types of the molecular bridges. To conventionally interlock the dual nameless without sacrificing fast water permission, interlaminar short chain molecular bridges were designed to ensure a lobster assembly structure of the dual nameless that rests the tendency towards swelling. Meanwhile, to firmly adhere the dual net onto the substrate through sufficient interaction, an uh, interfacial non chain molecular bridges was introduced. It connects the dual layer and the substrate by synergetic coupling the chemical shift base reaction and the physical vanavar interaction. On one hand, a properly designed amine, amine acted as an interlayer short chain molecules bridges the interlock, the dual name net through the condensation and the nucleation addition reactions leading to the mechanical robust dual assembly structure with anti swelling capability. On the other hand, adjusting at the height modified casing, though as an interfacial long-chain molecular bridges 
to conventionally bond with the amide in the noctid gene laminate through the shift base reaction. It is firmly adhered to the porous support substrate through sufficient physical attachment areas. The molecular bridge dual membranes featured separate, uh, separate stability in harsh world separate process, showing the stability to wind stem vibration and certification treatment and excellent durability in long-term filtration. The dual membrane kept stable under continuous operation more than 25 days. Also, we recently successfully sketched up our dual membranes reported on the supported on the inner surface of the a ceramic tube with length from seven centimeter to 40 centimeter, paving a new way towards the implementation of dual membranes for reliable what related application. The second part is about the selective transport of small servant molecules, such as the ethanol and the potato. We designed organic and inorganic composite memory with subsized, sub sized channels. Traditionally, memory is classified into catalogs. One is organic membranes prepared on the organic substrate. The other is the inorganic membranes prepared on the inorganic substrate. To combine these respective advantages, organic and in in inorganic membranes, inorganic materials, can we design a new type of organic inorganic composite membrane? One of our main interests is preparing an organic layer on an inorganic substrate. In our inorganic supported organic composite membranes, the separation layer uses polymeric materials such as PDMS, PVA, and their mixed matrix by taking the advantage of easy preparation and the low cost of the polymers. The support, the support layer uses inorganic materials, preferentially commercialized microporous ceramic, ceramic spots with the features of the good stability and no transport resistance. With this design, we prepared a new kind of polymer ceramic composite membranes. By varying, uh, by varying the configuration of ceramic support, we have different tubular and hollow fiber types of composite membrane. As a typical example, the table and the figures show the performance of PDMS the membranes in recovery alcohol from aqueous solution. Compared with organic support, inorganic supported polymeric membranes show the high separation performance, especially the flux. We then studied the possible mechanism behind such significantly enhanced separation performance by assembly and nettling the support layer. Interesting, in the testing, we find that the swelling at the membrane's interface is a critical fact. In the polymer supported PDMS membrane, both the polymeric separation layer and the support layer are swelled in the organic solution. Then there, there is a parallel swelling. By contrast, in the ceramic supported PDMS membrane, the swelling of the polymeric layer is restricted by ragged ceramic support, leading to an asymmetrically swelling effect. We call the such effect as confined swelling, which is mainly contributes to the excellent performance of inorganic supported composite memory. After learning that the interfacial properties is critical for the overall performance of the composite memory, the next question is how to invert it in the interfacial properties. To address this issue, we proposed an into situation colorization technology by nano eye detaching and a nano scratching. 
there are two key factors determining the interface properties of the polymeric ceramic composite membrane. The viscosity of PDMS coating solution and the roughness of the support. The nano adaptation experimental results suggested that the solution viscosity has a little effect on the elastic modulus and the hardness. Thus, we could choose a higher viscosity to make it PDMS coating solution more elastic and then reduce its physical, physical flow properties. With the increasing the roughness of the ceramic support, the critical loaded was improved due to the additional contact area between the rough ceramic support and the PDMS separation layer. To turn the interfacial property, we proposed a fast side substrate surface sideline grafting approach to enhance interface adhesion of PDMS onto the ceramic support. Due to the highly enhanced molecular interactions energy between them as re is revealed by the molecular dynamic simulation, combined the, the C2 catalyzation with the molecular simulation, simulation, we demonstrate the synergetic stability of mechanism of the organic inorganic surface in interface through so the hydric bonding and the mechanical occurring on the atomic scale. With such excellent separation performance and stability, we studied the scale up of the composite membrane with length from six centimeter to final eight centimeter. In 2012, we have successfully accepted the production line for, the, for this composite memory with capacity of 2,000 square meters per year, and also developed spatial memory modules to effectively packing this tubular composite memory. This slides to show you the root, root map of the, our composite memory in our group. The concept of the Polymer ceramic composite memory were proposed in 2004. After seven years of the development in memory design, fabrication, and application, we achieved the scale up of the PDMS ceramic membranes and set up the spin off Cambly. This PDMS ceramic company comes at the, uh, the PDMS ceramic. Composite memory products has widely engineering application related to the organic solvent separation. I show you two examples. The first is the biofuel production, in which the membrane was used to instead to remove alcohol from the fermenter to enhance the productivity. The second application is volatile organic compounds recovery widely present in chemical and the, med and the medical industry. We start the ethanol fermentation and the preparation corporate process in our label with membrane area less than 0.1 square meter. Then we collected with a big company in China to scale up this new memory-based technology for bioethanol production. Now, 20 square meters, the memory area is being used for the pilot scale test. The pilot test demonstrated that our PDMS ceramics composite membranes exhibit very good stability stability during over 1,000 hours continuous by ethanol recovery. Another important application is the VUC's recovery in many fields. The case shown here is a hexane, is a hexane recovery of one pharmaceutical industry in, in, in the Mokonia, China. Replaced the traditional 
absorption process with a memory based technology, which highly saving the space and increasing the server recovery the rate from less than 40% to over 90%. Importantly, in the outdoor with the temperature down to minus 20 30 degrees Celsius, our membrane has high performance for the over five years. Until now, the, our membrane products has been used more than 60 projects in chemical and pharmaceutical industry, play positive impact on both in economical and environmental aspects. Based on the, our work, very recently, we published a comprehensive review at facial channels for confined mass transport at a sub nanometer scale in the ledger review materials. Now it's my conclusion. Our attempts demonstrate membrane with well-defined sub size channels could achieve both high performance and stability for molecular separations, surprisingly creating and attaining the transport channels. Future directions should be focused on the customized preparation, automatic scale catalyzation, and the confined transport mechanism of sub size channels. Finally, I would like to thank my students and the collaborators for their contribution and greatly appreciate the financial support from National Basic Research Program of China and NSF China. Thank you for your kind attention and I welcome your questions.